Strength is the only thing that matters in this world. Everything else is just a delusion for the weak. There's only one certainty in life. A strong man stands above and conquers all! When I was younger, I never understood the hype around Vegeta. Don't get me wrong, he was a cool character, but he didn't compare to Gohan or Goku. But the funny thing is, as I've gotten older, I can relate so much more to the struggles Vegeta faced and the character growth that he went through. Vegeta is not perfect. Hey, stop! Maybe you won't be such a disappointment when you're dead! But in so many ways, he represents all of us. The constant battle of trying to rid yourself of emotional scars you suffered in your life, the constant failure, and the ability to have unrelenting motivation and drive to push yourself to be the best. It's through these three core concepts that have gave me a better understanding of Vegeta and has helped me push forward in my life. In this video, I wanted to share with you three core lessons of Vegeta's life that have helped shape how I live my life. The three lessons are discipline and constant search of improving, never giving up, and healing the inner warrior. Discipline and needing to improve. There is no doubt that Vegeta is the most disciplined warrior. One of the great examples of this in the show was after the Frieza saga when Vegeta was training in the gravity room. Yes, he was trying to close the gap between him and Goku, but the sheer motivation he had to go in there every day and work his socks off was truly inspiring. One of the other great traits about Vegeta is his ability to always want more and never being satisfied. Think back to after the Cell Saga when the Earth was at peace during those seven years. It's very easy in times of peace and prosperity to let yourself loose and forget about the actions that let you get to that peaceful state to begin with. <clears throat> Gohan. But in reality, Vegeta was always training and always wanting to improve and get a little bit better at his craft during those seven years. Think about the next threat in a year or five or ten, or think about your pride! It's funny, when I moved to New York City in 2022, I low-key turned into Gohan. I had everything that I ever wanted. I had a good job, I lived in a great city, I was around friends. But because of that, I actually started to slack off on all the things that helped me get to that state to begin with. I stopped going to the gym as frequently, I stopped trying to improve myself, I stopped reading, and now in my current state of life as I look back on it right now I'm actually paying for that slacking off that I did a year earlier now I'm extra motivated and I'm extra determined to get back to that peaceful state and I don't know what that actually means but it just means that I'm motivated to get to work and improve myself each and every day and I've applied that same exact mindset to this YouTube channel when I go into each and every video I try to ask myself what is something I can do to make this video 1% better than the last one this could be by improving my delivery working on my script writing, improving my B-roll, sound design, anything that I can think of to make it just marginally better, I try to apply it. And when I look back to last year when I was making YouTube videos, yes, I was churning out weekly videos, but I wasn't asking myself what I could do to make them better. I was kind of only making videos in the confines of what I thought was possible. So whenever I think about YouTube, I try to remember that Vegeta mindset of always thinking about there's something you can improve on and get better at because as soon as you rest on your laurels, that's when the bad things start happening and that's when you stop seeing improvement in your work. Never giving up. We are gonna forget about the moments when Vegeta's pride gets in the way of him actually wanting to fight, but when I think back in the show in his fight against Kid Buu when he was getting absolutely pummeled, Vegeta just kept getting back up and continuing to fight. And there's something quite poetic about the fighter that just stays in the ring with all those knockout blows and just continues to get back up to fight again for another day. Even when there was nothing around him that resembled a win, Vegeta just kept getting back up and continuing to fight. We are all going to go through failures and setbacks in our life. That's normal. My dad would always say that life is like a roller coaster. You'll go up and you'll go down. But the important thing is, is when you're on your downslope is that you don't give up on yourself and you just continue to fight and show up for yourself each and every day. I look back during my junior year of college when I was going for a big internship that year. That whole process was honestly very humbling and terrifying because I got so many rejection emails in that entire year. But every time I got those rejection emails and even though it would bring me down just a little bit, I kept thinking in the back of my head, just keep trying and keep applying to more places. And that mindset eventually helped me land a position at ESPN. And had I given up earlier, I would have probably landed in a much smaller internship and would have failed to accomplish my ultimate goal. Even with this YouTube channel, I felt the same feeling where sometimes I question if it's even worth uploading a video because when I put so many hours into a video and it absolutely tanks, it really crushes me. 
but then I just try to remember that Vegeta mindset of just get back up and try again. Just get back up and try to improve your craft each and every time. And that has proven right as this channel continues to grow little by little. Another important aspect that helped Vegeta continue to get back up against Kid Buu was because of his why. At the time, Vegeta was trying to buy time for Goku to charge up the spirit bomb, but also he had the back of his mind trying to protect his friends and family. And I think having and knowing what your why is, is an absolutely key component to helping you get back up and continue to try again. So whenever you, you are in your down moments, try to think about why you're going for that goal that you're going for, and that will ultimately help you to give you the resilience that you need to continue trying and continue fighting for it. Healing the inner warrior. Now, arguably my favorite thing about Vegeta is his character growth from ruthless villain to protector of Earth. This change took the entire series of Dragon Ball Z to come to fruition, but it only came when Vegeta healed his inner self. You saw this change after the Cell Saga when Vegeta was slowly transitioning to becoming a fighter that protects the Earth, but during the World Tournament Saga, you could see that inner battle that he was having about knowing what his current life role is, but also remembering what he did in the past. This is why Majin Vegeta carries so much weight in Dragon Ball Z, because you see Vegeta give in to all of his emotions, greed, and all the bad thoughts that he had to transform back to his old evil entity. But the funny thing is, is even though he was in this Majin Vegeta state, he never fully accepted that his new role was the villain. Vegeta thought to become the strongest warrior, he had to return back to his old self, but he later realized that he can still achieve all this newfound strength while also having a new demeanor about life. We are all going to battle demons and traumas from our past, and while there may be reasons to potentially give in to those thoughts, it's important that we work through them in order to become a more whole warrior. The scariest person to face is someone that truly knows who they are. That realization only comes by having those inner reflective thoughts and asking yourself those hard questions to help heal yourself. You saw that in Majin Vegeta's fight against Majin Buu where he accepted his fate and made the ultimate sacrifice. If you enjoyed this video, I also did a similar breakdown for Goku which you can find here. Thanks for watching, with love and respect, Yush.